Hello all, welcome to Selenium Python training series. In this session, as part of Selenium WebDriver, I'm going to practically demonstrate how to handle stale element reference exception. So let's get started. First of all, what exactly is this exception and when do we get it during the automation? So when you navigate away from the page, where the element is located, after coming back to the same page, the object reference is no more referring to the object of the web element. You may not be able to understand this statement right now. Okay, I will read this statement again for you after the demonstration, then you will understand this. Okay, initially you will not understand. So here I'll switch to this PyCharm ID and I'm going to take an example, guys. So here I'll open this browser and I will browse this application that is an example application that is omaya.blogspot.com I browse. Scroll down. Here what I want to do is I want to type my name, let's say Arun Motori into this text area field here. After doing that, I want to navigate away from this page, you see. So I have written some Selenium automation code which will open this browser, maximize this browser, open this application URL. After that, using the Selenium automation script, I'm going to type my name into this text area field. So far, good. Now things have worked fine, okay? Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on this compendium dev link, okay? I'll be taken to another page. I have navigated away from the page. I went away from the original page. I came to another page. Now I want to go back to the original page. I'll say browser back. Again, I am taken to the old page. Now I want to clear this particular text. Okay, this is what I want to automate. During this process, this exception known as Okay, stale element reference exception will be encountered. I'll show you. So for now, what I will do is uh, here I'll write the code webdriver dot. So here I need to import this webdriver from Selenium. Import webdriver from Selenium package. After that, I will say Chrome circular brackets, Q circular brackets. Now say driver is equal to this. You already know how to write and down. So I'm a bit fast. Driver dot maximize window, then driver dot so this will open the Chrome browser. This will maximize the browser window. I need to open the application here in the get command. Uh, I'll provide double quotes and copy paste this URL guys. Okay, copy paste this URL here of the application. After navigating to this page, what I want to do, I want to type my name into this text area field. I'll inspect this text area field here. I'll get the HTML code of this text area field. It has an ID guys, I'll copy this ID of the text area field. I'll write down driver dot find element, not elements, element by dot, so hover the mouse on this by and import it from Selenium library again. Now say by dot ID in double quotes give the ID of that uh, text area field. What I want to do in the text area field, I want to type many. So let's say uh, in this particular uh, script, right, uh, that I'm going to automate. First, I have to type my name into the same text area field. I have to navigate away from this page and come back again to the same page. And then whatever the name that is typed here, I want to clear it out, right? I have to clear the name out, whatever the name I typed before navigating away, after navigating back, I have to clear. But I'm trying to perform multiple operations on the same field, right? So what I'm going to do is, so instead of writing driver.findElement.sendKeys again and again, what I'm going to do here is, I'm going to store this as a web element. That is, I'll say, just give that name as, uh, you know, text area field one is equal to like that. I'll just name this web element. Now, with the name of this web element, I'll copy paste here and simply write down dot what I want to do. I want to type the text into the text element. My name I want to type in text uh, send a case command. I have to give my text that is Arun Motori. I have to give. So far, so good. My name will be typed here. After that, what I want to do is I want to click on this compendium dev link, inspect this so that I can navigate. The main intention I'm trying to prove here is when you navigate away from the page and come back, you'll get a stale element exception. Okay. When you navigate away from the page, some things will not work when you come back. I'll tell you what is that thing and all. When I inspect it, in order to navigate away, I can click on any link on this page. Guys, I'm going to click on this compendium dev link. This is a link text. I'll copy the text between the text. Here I'll write down driver dot find element by dot link text dot sorry comma give the link text say dot click. I'll click on this link. I'm navigate away, uh, navigating away. Before navigating away uh, into this web element, I want, was able to locate and type my name into the text area field. But after navigating away from this page, 
like this and uh, when i browse back here how to browse back here i have to simply say driver dot back this will browse back the page i'll come back again now i want to clear the text here whatever that my name has been typed into the text here equal right i want to clear that out how to clear already we created this web element right i'll copy this web element write down dot clear the text that's it this is what i want to achieve the script looks good but it's going to result you an exception known as stale element reference exception that i'm going to show you guys it'll open the chrome browser maximize the browser window open the application url okay after that it will type my name into the text here field after typing my name i just for demo purpose i'll add some you know sleep time like three seconds i'll give not more than that import this uh name from time that's from python library time so then i want to click on this after clicking right uh, i want to just give one more uh, three more seconds to hold the program so that we can see the demo properly after navigating back also i'll give three seconds and uh, you know then i want to clear the text inside the text area field whatever the text i typed here there is other more text i want to clear here then i have to simply say before closing the browser i'll simply okay so before quitting the browser here i'll simply say three seconds demo, okay before quitting three seconds so let's run this script let me run this script and see what's happening right click run we'll open the chrome browser maximize the browser we'll get an exception guys okay so it will first type my name into the text area. you see my name has been typed into the text area field after three seconds it will click on the another link where we are navigating away from the page after three seconds it will navigate back you see the text i have typed earlier before navigating is still there it has to clear the text did it clear the text no ways it has not cleared the text rather we got an exception known as stale element reference exception why we got this exception everything is fine right why we got this exception here what happened was this here you see before navigating away by clicking on this compendium dev link uh, before navigating away from the original page we have stored this uh, driver.find element into a web element here okay this element found on the web page with the help of selenium is stored into the text area field we have stored the web element here in this line this one this element is att attached to this particular name I was able to perform the operation where my name has been already typed into the text area field with the help of this uh, web element. So it's working fine. But the moment I navigate away from the page and come back to this page, this connection will be lost. Here, whatever the element that is found, which was stored into this, uh, right? Now it is not no more stored. This object got you know, detached from the page. This particular object reference got detached from the, that link between the object reference and the real object element has been detached. When you navigate away from the page in selenium this is what happens guys when you navigate away from the page the original connection will be gone text area field one is no more attached to the no more referring to the object of that web element that is found with the help of this find element by id so when you simply say after after navigating back and navigating away and back here when you simply say text area field one dot clear it's unable to find out what is text area field one the connection between this part and this part is already gone when you navigated away from the page and came back. So that's the problem, guys. Hope you are able to understand. Okay. Let me explain in more detail manner here. Let's say this is your original page. When you are on this page, you created a web element here. Some a web element name is equal to driver.find element you created. On that web element, you perform the operation when you are on the same page. Everything was working fine. Now you clicked on one option or link which has uh, taken you away from this page to another page. And uh, again, later, right, to perform other operations on the same page, you came back. But now, this particular web element is no more attached to the driver.find element thing, okay? The connection is lost. With the same name, whatever the web element you stored with a particular name, right? With that name, if you try to perform operations, you'll not be able to perform. Instead, you'll get which exception? Stale element reference exception. The reason behind that is you navigated away from the page and, okay? Once you navigate away from the page, the connections will be lost. This web element is equal to the stored web element is equal to driver.find element connection will be lost. And that's where you see uh, here, it clearly will give you the information. At line 24, we got the exception that is clear command. This particular web element, uh, which was stored earlier, is no more stored, guys. Okay. The, uh, this object reference is no more referring to that particular web element after navigating away from the page. So what is, uh, how to overcome this problem then? Okay. How to overcome this problem? 
So uh, one way to overcome this problem is I have to write this statement again, guys. Once the moment you navigate away from the page and uh, come back to perform the different operations, right, on the same element. Sorry, here, here I have to write. Before clearing the text, you have to write down. Again, I have to attach this driver dot find element to the text area field one. Then only it's going to work. You see this, this will resolve the issue, guys. Okay, the connection between this driver dot find element and this uh, text area field one. Object reference has been lost once you navigated away from page. So again, I have said, again, I have resigned, uh, reassigned, okay, I have reassigned this driver dot find element to this web element uh, object reference again. So once the connection is again set after you navigated away and came back, this is going to work now. Okay, run this code, it's going to work. This is one of the solution. Again, you have to assign that driver dot find element to the, the web element name, object reference. It will navigate away from the page after typing my name here. And uh, again, after three seconds, it will navigate back. Then here after three seconds, it has to clear my text. You see, my name has been cleared and the browser will close now. You see everything, no issues, no stale element reference exception because we have attached this driver dot find element again to the text area field once we navigated back to the survey. Okay, navigated away and back to the page. Or there is one more way guys. What is the other way? Instead of storing into this, this kind of stuff into the web elements like this, I'll directly perform the operation wherever I want, right? I'll directly perform the operation. Okay. I don't have to store that into a web element rather wherever required, right? Uh, simply, I'll simply say driver dot find element. That's it. Driver dot find element by like send I'll say here also, here also directly I'll perform the operation guys. I don't want to store as a web element here, wherever I need, right? Driver dot find element I'll write and then perform the operations. There's no, no, no need of storing it as an object reference because the problem with object reference was once you navigate away, the connection between this driver dot find element and that object reference element name is getting, uh, you know, crossed out. And because of which things are not working out, we are getting stale element reference exception. Those are directly I'm saying either you have to reassign that into the object reference. Okay. You have to create the, whatever the broken link between the object reference and driver dot find element is there that you have to reassign or directly you write down driver dot find element and perform the operation, driver dot find element and perform the operation. There's no problem in this. Okay, this also will work. So this is what is the stale element reference exception guys and why it occurs in Selenium and how to handle this, okay? There are multiple ways we can handle that, right? So we have to reason the driver dot find element into the web element or we have to directly perform driver dot find element dot send this, driver dot find element dot clear before and after navigating also, okay? You see, it's working fine, it got cleared. Everything is working fine. There is no, 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 that uh, sale element reference exception is not coming in the output, right? The, in the output, we are not getting any stale element, stale element reference exception. So hope guys understood what exactly is this stale element reference exception in this session. Uh, I have given the solution also, I have demonstrated practically. Now let's go through these statements which you have not understood in the beginning of the session. When you navigate away from the page where the element is located, you see, in this case, text area field was an element, yes, okay? Uh, you see, when the element is located, we have stored that element, driver dot find element, the text area field element into one web element uh, object difference we have stored. But once you navigate away from the page, after coming back to the same page after navigation, navigating back, you see, when you navigate away and come back again, object reference is no more referring to the object of the web element, guys, okay? That, you know, text area field one object reference name was no more referring to the object of the web element, which is found with the help of driver dot find element, right? So in that cases, you are going to get stale element exception. And there are two, two solutions I showed you. One is like, uh, you have to again, uh, connect it. Okay. We have to assign that object of this web element again, back to the object reference name. That is a uh, text area field. One is equal to driver. Dot. Again, we have to write after navigating away and coming back, we have to write the statement again. Or directly perform the operation driver dot find element dot send it. driver dot find element dot clear. There's no problem in that. Okay. There's no problem of losing the things uh, by navigating away and coming back. Okay. When, once you store this web element into a particular uh, object reference, then only the problems will come. Okay. The, this tail element reference exception kind of problems will come. Hope you have understood this line now. So that's all for this session. Thank you. Bye.